instructions say you need to calibrate the drone before each flight. It's a factory calibration. If you start flying the drone after you buy it without this calibration, it will drift a lot. It's blinking. And now there's a sound saying that the drone has performed the factory calibration. It's a calibration reset. You have to put your drone on a plane surface and perform this action. Uh, there is a compass inside of the drone which thinks that the drone is in the correct position and it will try to keep this drone in the air in the same position which means it will not drift a lot because it's already on the plane surface. If you put your drone on the slope and perform this action, the drone will be drifting a lot. It has to be on the plane surface. Now how do we calibrate the drone? These cheap drones are fun to play with, but a lot of people think they are cheap and they are not worth buying. But it's because people don't know how to calibrate them in the air. If the drone drifts or there's wind, it's difficult to control the drone and calibrate it. So don't calibrate this drone in the wind, especially if you are new to the drone. Try to do it at home when there's no wind. Let me explain you how it works. When you fly up, you'll see a little bit of drifting. And uh, if it drifts a lot, you'll have to control the drone with this stick here. And at the same time, try to push these buttons to make sure the drone stops drifting. For example, if the drone is drifting this way, you have to bring it back. Which means you would have to push the left button so that the drone comes to the left side a little bit. And you have to press the button once several times. Don't keep it pressed. You just have to press it several times until the drone comes to a regular position. Same with the forward and backwards movement. If the drone goes forward too much, you have to press the backwards calibration button. When the drone comes back a little bit, it will stay in one position. At the same time, it can drift still to the right or to the left. And to remember, there is no perfect calibration, because these drones, they are cheap, they don't have GPS receiver, so they can't stabilize themselves. Now let's try to fly up. I turn on the engines and I try to fly up slowly. Don't do it fast, if it drifts a lot, it will hit a wall. Okay, now we always have here a challenge, people say they don't see the controls. It's difficult to fit the drone and the remote control together. As you can see, it's perfectly calibrated. No need to calibrate anything, but let me show you what happens if I press the button here. It should go to the right a little bit. You see, it's drifting to the right. It's drifting to the left. But still, it's able to stabilize itself again. It's interesting. You see, it's going to the right. Now it's going to the left. If you're out of the... If you are out of the right calibration, you can do it yourself. You can land again after you play with calibration and you think you haven't done it right. You just can land and perform the factory calibration again and should stabilize itself in the area now. Yeah, it's pretty stable, but remember that if you fly close to the floor, it will drift. If you fly close to the ceiling, it may also drift. Now it's actually drifting. Let me fix it. Or maybe I have wind coming from the window. Now it's drifting forward. I, at the same time, try to bring it to myself using this stick. And I need to push the calibration buttons now. 
so I will push this button. It will come close to me now. Let's see. So now the drone is not in good shape. It, 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 it's drifting up and down because there is wind also in my room coming from the window. Forward. Going forward, backwards. That's how the calibration works on this drone. And to go down, you just land.